time for school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. I thought they'd never leave. Shitty day to be an American girl doll. <sighs> Follow your inner star. Oh, God, I hate that. So I hate gross. you. Who asked? Shut it, fuck-ass Bob. Oh, ladies, ladies, we don't have the time to bicker. Has anyone seen my horse, Picasso? Shut, Shut up, up, Sage. Sage. Dig it, girls. <sighs> Want one, Sage? Oh, well, I never. Your name is Sage and you don't smoke. You're one to talk, Molly. <coughs> well, when you've experienced the horrors of war, you gotta escape somehow, okay? Mm, geez, bummer. Anyway, <gasps> dancing without leaving room for Jesus. What are you looking at? What is, um, ma masturbation? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? It's called the rice. Uh, purity? I, I believe it is all purity under the eyes of the Lord, so I thought it would be something Christ-like, but it's anything, it's anything but! <laughs> Sick, let me see. Had your butt cheeks fondled? Glue balls? Horse tranquilizers. <laughs> this is hilarious, let me take it. I got a 76. Let, let me, let me, let me. Okay, I got an 83. Is that, is that good? Give me. I got a 36. Oh my god. 36? They don't call me kit in the streets, clit in the sheets for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can it, Sage? Leave her be. All she does is ride her horse. Hey, why don't you take it, Sage? Ninety-nine. Prude. What was your one? Uh, um, I, I don't. Um. I took the rice purity test once. Ah! What, what's your name? Don't got one. They didn't give them out to dolls like me. They uh, call me number twenty-three. And. And what did you get on the test? Same as my name. Oh. Um, all right. Um, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna hold this. Dear God. So what all have you been up to to get those scores? Uh, me and the neighborhood boys shared the same bomb shelter. <sighs> Woodstock 69 was a wild one. <laughs> There's more queer women in Ohio than you'd think. And I probably met all of them. I'm in love with my horse. <laughs> he understands me like no one else. We have late night trail rides. <laughs> what the actual hell? Dude, you've got to be the most fucked up American girl doll out there. Follow, Follow your inner star. God damn it. And live from Studio C, it's Friday's Live. Friday's Live, starring Aiden Wickham, Ryan Humanick, Jack Linscott, Mia Leyland, Bree Rydell, Lily Sellers, Ava Pasika, Felix Schmidt. Matthew Campbell. Nessa Ladon. Abby Lance. Sam Gottfried. Lauren Key. Elena Hess. Cam Smith. With your A News host, Chance Lane. Starring your host, Ben Hooper. With musical guest and head writer, Ryan Humanick.
Produced by Lydia Smith and Olivia Freeland. Directed by Allison Irie. Tonight is the Friday's Live After Dark Special Marathon Telethon Extravagant. You get the idea. Uh, tonight we're going to be saying some words on air that we don't normally say, so if you're watching with kids, maybe you should put them to bed. It is 11 p.m. after all. Uh, anyways, I'll let the cast tell you about some of the words we're going to be saying tonight. So we're starting it off with bitch. Shit! Piss, as in I'm pissed off. Fuck, as in fuck. Uh, motherfucker. Yeah. Tits! Yeah. Yeah. Nice. fashion, I was also asked to read this long, overgeneralized, and surface-level apology for the content you're about to witness. <laughs> to the viewers of Friday's Live, I, Benjamin Matthew Hooper, would like to sincerely apologize for what you're about to watch. The content you're about to see on tonight's show <laughs> is shid. Moral convictions that prevent you from enjoying tonight's show, please call us at 505-503-4455, and I, Benjamin Matthew Hooper, will personally come slob on your knob free of charge. <laughs> XOXO, Benjamin Matthew Hooper. <laughs> All right, I've stalled for enough time. My Chipotle order is ready. Uh, without further ado, the cast of Friday's Live. Did our... Post to sleep ten minutes into the show to get food after we fed him dinner. I knew this would happen. <sighs> Time to pull out the backup posts. Okay, okay. Let's see. Um, Hugh Jazz said he's busy. Apparently, it's his daughter Lars' birthday. Well, happy birthday, Large Ass. But that's not gonna get us a lot of a host for tonight. Um, have you checked with Mike Cox? Yeah, he said something about the grand opening of his mall tonight. Mm, Mike Cox Mall is opening tonight. Maybe I'll check it out this weekend. What about Anita Bath? Mm, I don't know. Ben! Ben! Sorry it took so long getting back. I fully accidentally gave my order to some guy named Mike. Oxard? No, Mike Roch. Uh, the good news is I'm here and ready to host the rest of the show. Great, that's great. Um, I'm going to go check with next week's guest to make sure that he can still make it. Who? Dick Hurts? No, Rob Roberts. <laughs> that's a weird thing to name a kid. What were those Roberts people thinking? Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We're excited to share another great show with you all, and we have a musical performance from Orbiting Jupiter. Uh, don't go anywhere. Spooky, oh, spooky, Ooh. spooky Beyond the Bricks. Ooh. After Dark, Beyond the Bricks special. Uh, I'm here interviewing our host, Mr. Ben Hooper. Ben, tell me a little bit about yourself. So I studied meteorology for three years at Ohio University. Thought that was cool, done doing that. Uh, now I stand inside of a Lowe's and ask people to sign up for free gutter estimates. Uh, big into uh, turnover, indie music, Legos. Dude, have you ever seen the uh, Lego Botanical Collection? I have, I have the, which one is that? Like the, the, the tall, the orchids, I have that one. Yeah. I did see that actually, I really enjoy the orchids. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about where you're from? So I'm from Dover, Ohio, right outside of Amish country. 
Very nice. So you're so you're Ben, and you're from you're, you're from Dover. That is correct. Ben, I am Ben. I am ben Dover. Ben Dover. You could tell us a spooky story for Halloween. So one time, I uh, I came home, and my mom had been moving stuff around. So I come home, and I go downstairs. My room's in the basement, and on the floor around the corner, I see my Lego Star Wars droid battle like deployer. Shattered. I was mortified. What are some of your favorite memories from Athens? Snowboarding on like broken pieces of table down Mill Street. It didn't work at all, not even in the slightest. To the basement. Basement, 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 basement. Uh, we were in the Chapter House weight room, aka basement corner. Oh. Okay. 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 down here on a mouse sticky trap one time. Ooh. I had it actually right under there. I had a sticky trap right under there and I caught a bat with it. See a 2116 up there. Oh yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when I did that. <laughs> what does 2116 mean? That's my bond number. It's the like number I was initiated into the fraternity. Jaden and Gabe talking about uh, how they both had a clause in their relationships with their girlfriends that oh, the, yeah. the Ben Hooper clause. <laughs> Um, I'm the hall pass. Yeah. I'm Jaden's hall pass. <laughs> no cheating, unless it's with Ben Hooper. Aww. Yeah, it makes me feel like very important. We uh, we got some spoils from the. I got the light on. From from the storage room. Some uh, crunchy cards. That's all I learned how to do. Really? I just sat there with a YouTube video, in, like sophomore year of high school. <laughs> I kind of want to know how to do that. I me, 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 and your, me, and your, me and your mom when, 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 <laughs> when, when, I, when, when you're, when you're, when, 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 smells really bad in here. Is it, is it really a chapter house without a bunch of Nerf guns? We also have plenty of Nerf darts right here. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> uh, do you think this place is haunted? I think this place is haunted by the hopes and dreams of parents of children with potential. Bend over. Be bend over. It's been beyond the bricks. Signing out. Or are we? slightly more nutso than usual. Well, hold on now. Uh, come on, George. Jerry, you can't be serious. Look at him, he's crazy! Well, I was crazy once, too. What? Yep, they locked me in a room. A room? Yep, a room. <laughs> You're not gonna believe what was in that room. What was in there? <laughs> okay, so Quit it, you guys! What do you want from us? Like I said, we're gonna play a game. Well, what were you thinking? George and Jerry are linked together, right, Elaine? Yeah. So uh, now I'm just gonna. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And now they've been injected with a strain of my new super virus, Kramaritis. <laughs> <laughs> Kramaritis? Yeah, the working title, you know. I'm sorry, but I'm confused. How do you have time to do this? Oh, I got a guy. A guy? Oh yeah, I got a guy who helps me out with this uh, biohazard type stuff. Now hold on, you, uh, yes George, he's got a guy, now moving on. So yeah, uh, Kramaritis. The super virus? Yeah, the super virus Kramaritis is gonna kill you both. But if Elaine kills one of you first, then she can save the other one, woo! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 how is this supposed to save one of them? So the cure to my super virus, Kramaritis. <laughs> is the blood of someone who is A positive. And these two are both A positive? Positively. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what if I refuse?
refuse. Oh, wait, what the hell? At least save one of us. Yeah, I can understand you wanted to kill Jerry, but me? <laughs> whoa, 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 George. You really think she'd rather me dead than you? Well, to be fair, you have better hair than me, but yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey guys, meant to tell you, but uh, time is ticking. And if Elaine refuses, I have that cat set to electrocute her, and then none of you will live. I can't believe I may die wearing something worse looking than your suit. Hey, just for that, you all have uh, one minute. Yep, yep, one minute. <laughs> no, why'd you have to go and do that? Yeah, hurry up and save me. George, I cannot believe this. J.I., Jerry Seinfeld should <laughs> die instead of you. Yeah? Yeah, why? You suck. <laughs> what? What? Are you serious? Uh-huh. Can you believe this guy? No, I agree. Kramer? Uh, sorry, Jerry, but I was hoping Elaine would kill you. <laughs> I just, I, I cannot, I mean, I mean, wow. Time's up! <laughs> Nothing happened? What gives, Kramer? This is done? Oh, crap, what happened? <laughs> there we go, just gonna tell my guy that the super virus. Krameritis. That's a delayed response. Oh, well. At least the helmet still works! <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Okay, I was talking to them. Oh. I was talking I just, to you. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm talking, I just want to talk to you guys today about my really good friend, Max. Hi, guys. Uh, you know, he's, he's just, he's just a little bundle of joy. <laughs> See how giggly this little fella is? <laughs> you know, Max and I, we've been friends for a really long time. Say, when was, how long has it been, buddy? Gosh, I can't even remember. Really? Yeah. I thought I was your best friend, you can't remember? No, I That's just really awkward, because we're like doing the shoot. No, I, I know, but like, you know, when you spend so much time with someone, time really becomes irrelevant. Like, all I get lost in is just like, your eyes. You know, yeah. the seas of blue, the hints huh. of grain, green in them. I'm like swimming. We kind of have the same eyes, you know? I know. I can get lost in them too. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, you know, we just, we just like to play little games, you know. Uh, he's a big game guy. What's what's your favorite game? Max? Oh gosh, I really like um, the games we play together. <laughs> okay, how about the Pope game? The what? The Pope game. Oh, I love the Pope it. game. Now I, I, I love I'm game. still warming up to it, but yeah. like I'll poke him. <laughs> okay, then he, okay, okay. All right, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Oh yeah, okay, okay, that's that's good. Okay, I don't like this game. Too much! Max! 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 Look, Look at this see. guy! Look at he's, him. So, he's just so fantastic. You know this guy? He actually, um. <laughs> he slept with my mom. It's true. He's like twice. An actual father to me. It, it really is. How are you doing, son? It's been kind of awkward, you know, adapting to that change hey, in my champ. life. Nothing um, awkward about it. It's been in the weird three months. Uh, I love him, like my own son. Uh, and you know, I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, we, we, but... It's because you are my son. Son. <laughs> We're the same age! It's so weird, like why did she do that? There's nothing weird about love. <laughs> Especially when you got a son like you. Thanks. Hey Slugger, don't mention it. Max, I'm... You can call me dad, it's okay. How about this? You wanna call me step... Well, I don't... Step I don't... dad? I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm the dad that stepped up, though, so I don't really think that's fair. Well, my dad was in the picture before you came. Yeah, but let's face it, it's a better picture with me in it. Champ. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't he have, like, such a good smile? The ladies are gonna go crazy, I'm telling you. They already have. <laughs> well, this, this was nice. I just wanted to talk to you today about my good friend, buddy, Oh, cowboy, Dad. you're being too nice right now. Yeah, come on, yeah. come on. Um, so he made me do this. I mean, I wanted to. Made it, it was. 
he came to me and he told me it's I just, supposed to be a bonding exercise. You know, we're trying to warm up to the fact, but um, we're a big family now. Oh, we truly are. Just me and you and your mom and yep. your six siblings who all love me. Yep. So great. Yeah, so great. Little rascal. <laughs> Oh, rascal. Your mom pulls me here like that. All right, so that's going to wrap up the, the, the segment. We're uh, going to do some great family bonding times, talking about my good old buddy Max. Really true. So, uh, hey, we'll catch you next time uh, with Sam and, and his buddy. Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Father and son duo, the end of time. Friend and friend. It's father and son. Friend and friend. Father and son. We'll work there. We'll get there. No, it's father and okay. son. All okay. Right. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Later. Ha <laughs>
from the crew of Fridays Live at Ohio University. It's been brought to our attention that some people have been talking shit about our radio television building, so I'm here to teach you all a valuable lesson. Don't talk shit about our TV. Here's some things that make our TV great. You got a water fountain? We got one too. Yours works, ours only fills bottles. Fuck you, don't talk shit about our TV. You got studio lights? We got studio lights. Yours work, ours use obsolete bulbs that'll never be replaced. Don't talk shit about our TV. This is our equipment room. Haven't replaced broken tripods since 1996. Fuck you, kids love broken gear. Don't talk shit about our TV. This is our dolly. Yours is real. Ours is a shopping cart we sold from Walmart in 2015. Fuck you, don't talk shit about our TV. I love OU, you love OU. You know what's at OU? Our TV. Don't talk shit about our TV. We got a theater in our basement. We put the theater kids down there so we don't have to interact with them. Fuck you, don't talk shit about our TV. We got our own office with computers that don't unlock. Fuck you, students love lack of access to Adobe Creative Cloud. Don't talk shit about our TV. This is our prop cage. Yours has authentic prop bottles. Ours has a half digested bottle of apple cider from God knows when. Fuck you, don't talk shit about our TV. We got a soundboard that's older than our entire cast and crew combined. I use that shit every day to blare California Girls by Katy Perry until the speakers don't work no more. Fuck you, don't talk shit about our TV. You got a control room? We got one too. Ours is an old studio audience viewing room with a permanently covered window that has to be completely rewired every time we do an episode of Friday's Live. Fuck you, our assistant director loves extra work. Don't talk shit about our TV. Our TV, a great place to learn our production process. Unless you're talking shit. Is your ass chapped? Does your significant other refuse to kiss you because you have a crusty mouth? Here at Lauren's Emporium of Petroleum Jelly, we make losers like you not have a mouth that looks like a leather couch when they wake up. Not only did I just graduate from Rutgers University majoring in petroleum jelly, but I also have a degree in psychology. I honestly believe that this stuff cures cancer. <laughs> Let me just give you a little run down on how to apply it. So the goal is to make it look like you have placenta all over your mouth. You first start in just one. As much as you can get on there. And then, you know, you just all over, yeah. You may be asking yourself, what is advanced therapy? Well, today, here with me to help answer that question is a woman whose name I do not know. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Ava, and I'm in desperate need of advanced therapy. Great, yeah, you certainly do look it. Now, I'm aware that on your form, you mentioned some traumatic experiences that I certainly did not have time to look over as I was busy researching. Yeah, it just kind of stems from my childhood. You know, my mom, she just put this intense pressure on me. She keeps saying, Ava, you're not gonna be enough. Ava, you're not enough. And then my dog dies, and then everything just kind of falls apart in the family. I take pride in my work, and I love knowing that I'm saving people's lives, I'm saving people's mouths, I'm, I'm saving people's relationships. And then, then there was grandma, but... Oh, not grandma. grandma. Oh, not grandma. Yeah. It's always grandma. Yeah. Anyways, guys, as we can see here, it helps with dying grandmas. Maybe you just recently signed divorce papers and you're regretting it. Well, don't use something boring like whiteout. With petroleum jelly, all you have to do is take a quick little slab of it, wipe it right there on that signature, and undistinguishable. They can't prove that you signed that. They can't take your children away. And I've done incredible work with some acclaimed scientists who I cannot disclose. It's just been me. Go ahead to stores and buy Aquaphor Healing Ointment Cancer Curing Advanced Therapy Petroleum Jelly from Lauren's Emporium, can't get it anywhere else. They'll charge you maybe $12, $13. Here we charge you $10, $11, maybe $12, $13. It's life-saving. Really get in there with the squeeze. All right. And how does that make you feel? Pretty good. You know, just stop being a loser. Well, Ben, what do you think of the show so far? I won't lie, it's pretty great. That's what we like to hear! Speaking of, I hear you give out free gutter estimates. Sort of. That's great! We have some gutters we've been meaning to clean out for a while. Could you give us an estimate? I, I, I would, but I'm not the one. Bring them in! <laughs> so, what do you think? Look, I'm, I'm not the one who does the estimates. I had to sign people up for it. Oh, God fucking damn it! 
Why didn't she just say so? <laughs> well, stick around for this week's edition of A News. News. Truth. Facts. Live from Studio C. Real news. Fake news. Tomorrow's news. Today. News you can trust. 24 hour non stop coverage. Your A News. A News with Chance Lane. And I'm Ben Hooper. Skull Island Rise of Kong, a new King Kong video game, released earlier this week to generally shitty reviews. Personally, I won't be playing the new game, since last time we put King Kong in a box for our entertainment, we lost the Empire State Building. <laughs> After the federal government recently tested its emergency alert system, several Amish people were reportedly shunned by their communities after it was revealed that they had secret phones. To our new Amish fans, we hope you're enjoying tonight's episode, <laughs> and we look forward to seeing your thirst traps. <laughs> After making headlines for attacking the Parisians, it seems that bedbugs have made their way to the states. In fact, a bedbug infestation has recently overtaken the city of Cincinnati, solidifying its title as the Paris of America. <laughs> Elon Musk recently announced that Twitter, now called X, will be testing a $1 annual subscription on its platform. While Musk says this is an effort to reduce the number of bots on the site, users are hoping their unemployed friends will finally stop beefing with Martha Stewart at 10 in the morning and get a fucking job. <laughs> a new eight foot tall Halloween decoration at Target has taken TikTok by storm with his witty charm and sassy comebacks. Here to comment is the decoration himself, Lewis. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. I'm so happy you could carve out some time to come out tonight. Good to have you on the show, Lewis. I am not the Jack Lantern. My name is Lewis. How does it feel to be viral on TikTok, Lewis? I am not a king. I am not a god. I am Lewis. And he's humble. What do you have to say to fans who are looking to meet you, but can't find you in stores? With a crooked smile and a glowing eye, I see all your tricks from way up high. <laughs> That's concerning. Do you have any advice to the young pumpkins looking to join you in the hide and eek boutique? I am not a jack-o'-lantern. My name is Lewis. <laughs> Great. Uh, we'll let you get back to the store. Trick or treat, all you creepy crawlers. <laughs> He's quite the character. Let's move on to Ryan for his, this week's edition of Top 5. Top 5, Top 10 Special Edition, Top 5 Part 1, uh, most traumatizing movies I've ever seen. Uh, number 5, we have Monsters vs. Aliens. <laughs> number 4, we have Tales of Despero. <laughs> number 3, we have Igor. <laughs> number 2, we have the second Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> and in first place, we have Tusk. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> That's all the time we have for this week's edition of A News. I've been Chance Lane. And I've been Ben Hooper. We'll be back soon with a special edition of No Clue News. Don't go away. Hi, folks. Welcome to Lauren Street Walking, and you know, third time's a charm. I'm still here, I'm still getting people's consent before I make fun of them, and I do advocate for being a nice person, but not always. So, if you'd like to, why don't you just follow me? Name three women. Okay, let's see, uh... It took too long. <laughs> uh, Michelle Obama, Lydia Jill Jason. Biden, Louise May. Jill Biden? <laughs> Jill <laughs> Did you Biden? I said Joe. Oh, I thought you said Joe Biden. Joe Biden's a woman now, apparently. What are these big green reciprocals in the middle of the field? Oh, Max is going to scope it out. Oh my god, it's a hula hoop. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Probably Stevie Nicks. Oh my... 
I feel like I'm in a costume at all times, yeah. so I don't ever have like a good other costume. If I think of something, it's just DJ Bardicus as the costume. But people are welcome to dress up as me. It's uh, okay. What are you guys wearing for Halloween costumes? I don't know. I was Elvis last year, and I was an amazing Elvis. I guess people like couldn't see my belt, and so they thought that I was Superman, which really pissed me off. Shout out to Elvis. That's all I'm saying. What are you guys dressing up for us Halloween? So, Thank you so first, much for asking. we are going to be um, Goodfellas, and then we're also going to be Magic Mike and his crew. Yes. Please, no uh, one steal our costume. <laughs> who's dressing up as um, Matthew McConaughey with a cowboy hat? Me. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel great. I think it's going to be the most confident I'll ever feel. Here, on our right, we have another nice alleyway. Very, very nice. Would you participate in uh, eating a pickle if I told you that I would give you a nickel? <laughs> oh, that, that was a good crunch. That was a good crunch. Like, now it's going to be finding the gross person who will take a bite of this pickle after it's already been bitten. That is someone who really doesn't care about their life, and I'm really excited to see who we can find. <gasps> Let's ask the squirrel if he wants a pickle. Squirrels are ravenous around here, man. They'll do anything for a pickle. Oh my god. Get it. Is he eating a pickle? Oh my god. Wait. It's inspecting it. Oh my god, wait, that's scary. I would be too, buddy. Guys, I'm starting to get the pickle juice on my hands. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I guess, like, commit to the bit, but, you know. Can I just get, like, your opinion on pickles? Like, a well statement. On, on pickles, please. I like the sweet pickles better. Um, I don't normally like eat pickles. When I do, I buy a jar of like those, like, I don't even know what they're called. Sometimes I'll just buy a jar and just like eat them straight out of the jar. See, that's what scares me. I think what we're now gonna be doing is I'm gonna take a bite. I'm terrified. Mmm, <laughs> really salty, kinda crunchy, I don't like it. Very just like potent. Girls who like pickles, guys who like pickles, animals who like pickles scare me. Where are my friends? Where are my friends? They are nowhere to be found. Oh my god, dog. What do you want to say to the people of America? I'm just gonna ask, what do you guys think I should name my pickle? I was thinking Pubert the pickle. Do you like pickles? Yes, I, I do like pickles. Why? Uh, I think the uh, the crunch, the um, acidity, the uh, addition to a sandwich, okay. yeah, it just it adds its own thing. What if I told you that like this pickle is open for eating? That is for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Why do you hate pickles? Because when I was growing up, in order to make me throw up, my dad would make me gargle pickle juice. So every time I take a bite of a pickle, I have. Um, what will you yeah, say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> reaction <laughs> to throw up. Does your dad love you? <laughs> um, sources say yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're getting the cameraman finally. Why have you been following me around all night? They told me to. You, you're just gonna jump off a bridge if your friends tell you to. I mean, someone's gotta. Someone's gotta do it. Okay, so if someone's gotta do it. Will you take a bite of this pickle? Oh my god, he actually did it! Alright, how do you feel? Um, satiated. You ready? Yeah! <laughs> how do you like that, Fickle? Huh? Are you sure we're in the right place? I, this can't be Strawberry Land. I thought it was supposed to be much more alive. Of course we're in the right place. We passed Punchbowl Pond, Huckleberry Briar, and Cookie Corners. Aha! I told you, this place is literally my childhood. I can navigate it in my sleep. Aha, we get it. You're a huge Strawberry Shortcake fan. But I hope you're ready to meet your idol. I doubt it. She's way too awesome to live in a rundown dump like this. What was that? Oh my god, is that man eating trash? <gasps> That's not just any man. That's the peculiar purple man of Porcupine Peak. Sir, are you okay? Stay away from my trash, it's mine. Go get your own. <laughs> Chill, man. We don't want your trash. We're here for strawberry shortcake. Ah, strawberry short snort you're looking for. Well, she's not as cute, cute and sweet as she used to be. <laughs> I thought I told you to get your sorry keister off my property! 
Mark? Mark? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. How about now? You still wired in? Call security. You issued 24 million new shares of stock? You were told that if new investors- How much were your shares diluted? How much were his? What was Mr. Zuckerberg's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Mr. Moskowitz's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Sean Parker's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Peter Thiel's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. And what was your ownership share diluted down to? 0.03%. You signed the papers. You set me up. You're gonna blame me because you were the business head of the company and you made a bad deal with your own company? This is gonna be like I'm not a part of Facebook. It won't be like you're not a part of Facebook. You're not a part of Facebook. My name's on the masthead. You might want to check again. Is this because I froze the account? You think we were gonna let you parade around in your ridiculous suits thinking like you really own this company? Sorry, my pride is at the cleaners! Along with my hoodie and my fuck you flip flops, you pretentious douchebag! Security's here, you'll be leaving now. I'm not signing those papers! We will get that signature. Tell me this isn't about me getting into the Phoenix. You. you did it! I knew you did it! You planted that story about the chicken! I didn't plant the story about the chicken. What's he talking about? You had me accused of animal cruelty! Seriously, what the hell's the chicken? I bet the part you hated the most is that they identified me as a co founder of Facebook, which I am. So you better lawyer up, asshole, because I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back for everything.
Get him out of here. It's okay. I'm going. Hold on. Here's your check. I wouldn't cash it though. We drew on the count, you froze. I like standing next to you, Sean. Makes me feel tough. In any case, we got a special show for you tonight. Three random women have signed a release form for a shot at love with a man who once claimed that women's uteri migrate through their body and cause hysteria. It's true. My son's cat Oedipus died last week, and I knew I was experiencing a fit of female hysteria when I shed a single tear. <laughs> Wow, well, uh, what an interesting name for a cat. <laughs> I knew then that I just needed to have another baby. Whenever women cry, it's just their body grieving for not being with a child. Okay then, who's ready to meet our lover boy? <laughs> Sigmund, come on out. God damn, how is that guy not dead yet? Ha! <laughs> so, Sigmund. Call me Freud. Freud, uh, I know that you've been called a unlovable, worthless piece of shit who should rot in the depths of hell, but I'm delighted to tell you that beyond that curtain are three women desperate enough to love you. I think you mean desperate enough for male genitalia. Uh, uh, excuse me? <laughs> Clearly you don't understand science. Women actually experience a constant state of anxiety due to their lack of the schlong. Wow, this network really is turning to shit. <laughs> well, let's get to the women. Woman one, please introduce yourself. Hi, Sigmund. I just love philosophical men. My brain can't understand most things, so it's great to have a man who can think for you. It's, it's Freud. <laughs> Woman two? Um, I was told there was going to be free hot dogs here. God, is this how we have to get people on the show now? <laughs> Woman two, would you say your long to eat hot dogs is due to their masculine <laughs> dominant shape? What? No. I mean, unless you have hot Not dogs. Not right now! <laughs> Woman three? I love hot dogs. I find that phallocentrism has helped our society in so many ways. I mean, the Eiffel Tower, the Washington Monument, the missiles we bombed Germany with, all penis-shaped, and for good reason. Woman three, you, you fascinate me. May I ask, how many children have you had? Oh, Freud, I'm flattered. At least nine. Your favorite meal to cook for a man? Lasagna. My favorite. I will wed you immediately. Do you know how much your father will want for you? To, to Freud, I hate to interrupt. Well, let's, well, let's not forget our mysterious woman one. She may also like lasagna. <laughs> yeah, you're goddamn right I like lasagna. And you know what else I like? <sighs> Killing motherfuckers like you and eating them for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. This is all because of the bit. Uh, part of the bit, because guns are also shaped like penises. What? What? Anyway, I'm a feminist, Freud. That's right, a feminist, who's been waiting to kill you for a long-ass time. I put up with your penis envy and I love mommy shit for six years just to get my psychology degree. I voted online 478 times that you were an unlovable, worthless piece of shit who should rot in the depths of hell just so that they'd say it on live television! <laughs> <laughs> 
Clearly, you weren't properly breastfed. <laughs> Someone must never stop breastfeeding. Now step away from my son. Mommy? <laughs> hi, Pookie. I hope you're not mad that I came on the show, but I just hate it when they call you an unlovable, worthless piece of shit who should rot in the depths of hell. But Mom, you know how vulnerable I am right now. My cat Oedipus dying and everything. Well, folks, what a turn of events has been tonight. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go get a vasectomy. <laughs> God damn it, I, I can't go through with any of this. Staring at my ass, I love that cat more than you ever will. I'll see you in hell, Sigmund. <laughs> Oh my god! Did you just kill your own son? Yeah, I thought you were gonna do it, but then you walked away. So. <sighs> Damn, I hated that guy. Us women gotta stick together, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. is for Red Bull, Mr. Red Bull specifically. So if you are not Mr. Red Bull, if you are just a casual viewer or even a devoted viewer of Fridays Live, don't watch unless your name is Red Bull. You work for Red Bull. You are Mr. Red Bull. This is just for the Red Bull company. Hello there, Mr. or even Madam Red Bull, if you will. My name is Allison, and you probably don't know me. I am the director of Fridays Live. In 2006, we at Fridays Live had a Red Bull sponsorship. Let me make it clear to you, if you are still a viewer watching, we do not have a Red Bull sponsorship. This is not a Red Bull sponsorship. This is not an ad for Red Bull. We are not affiliated with them. But we we could be. We could be affiliated with Red Bull. You know, and, and if, if you, if, 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 yeah, I think now more than ever is the time to have a Red Bull sponsorship. On the back of the Red Bull, on the back of the Red Bull cans, right? What does it say? Red Bull energy drink. Red Bull is appreciated worldwide by top athletes, busy professionals, college students, and travelers on long journeys. Do you know what we are, Red Bull? We are all of those things. Friday's live is athletics. I would love to say that Friday's Live is a sport. It is a sport because do you ever, you ever operated a camera, Red Bull, have you? Because I don't breathe when I do that. What else we have? Busy professionals. Who is more professional than a group of college students who are locked in a studio for four hours, often against their will on a Friday night? College students, easy, that's what we are. And travelers on long journeys. We are travelers on our own long journey, our own long journey to finding silly. Now, another good reason, Red Bull fuels this show. Last year, I had to put together like eight different packages of edited video within 24 hours. I had collectively approximately 12 Red Bulls. That's enough to kill a horse. I'm fine, by the way. I have not drank uh, three of these Red Bulls today. Don't you worry. You know what, if you're like, what's in it for me? Me being Red Bull? Love. Is this, does this not show you the love I have? I forgot I can't chug things because I will die. But I am giving it my best shot, am I not? And that's what love is. Putting yourself through hardship, through pain, through Red Bull together, we can do it. Friday's Live and Red Bull can be a beautiful relationship. I beg you, I, oh, I demand you, please give us our sponsorship back. We don't make any money. We didn't have any in the first place and you could be the one to not only give us free Red Bull, but like at least $7, I don't really care. So thank you, Mr. or Madam Red Bull for listening to this demand tonight. I appreciate you and everything that you did for us in 2006, but I was four years old and had no say in it. Oh God. You love Red Bull, right? <laughs> this is my third Red Bull of the day. Oh. I have Red Bull all over my hands. It is 8, 8.30 p.m. You're shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> Please sponsor us. Welcome back to our special edition of A News. No clue news. I'm still Chance Lane. And I'm still Ben Hooper. For this segment of our After Dark special, we'll be reporting on headlines we've never seen before. Let's get into it. The Circleville Pumpkin Show just reported the state's largest pumpkin ever. 
It was almost as big as my massive schlong. <laughs> the new Spider-Man game just came out exclusively on the PS5. I stayed up last night to play it, and I gotta say, I really enjoyed shooting some webs in my bed. <laughs> in other Spider-Man news, the action figure brand Hot Toys just released 21 inches of Venom. <laughs> Apparently, I just got my own line of sex toys. <laughs> For some groups of men, the number of vasectomies they're getting has doubled in the past 10 years. In fact, this is the largest recorded increase in vasectomies since the day I was born. <laughs> the hit show Sex Education released its fourth and final season on Netflix to mixed reviews. Here to comment on the show is a licensed sex therapist, Dr. E. Jacula. <laughs> Everybody, I am Ejecula. I want to suck you off. God, never say that again. <laughs> Dr. Jacula, uh, what made you first want to become a sex therapist? A lot of people like to say that I am a freak. A freak of nature, a freak in the sheets. So I wanted to put my skills to good use and help other people with their problems. Uh, that's great to hear. Uh, could you tell us a little more about what you do in a sex therapy session? Of course. Usually I will talk with the clients either alone or as a couple and we will discuss their problems. Then uh, we look at different ways we might solve their problems. It is a lot like a normal therapy session except we focus on sexual health. So you help people who might have some trouble uh, raising the dead? Precisely. <laughs> so what did you think of the new season of Sex Education? Well, I like the overall tone of the series, especially how it destigmatizes conversations about sexual health. But I don't know how I feel about the overall shift in the series we saw in the first season. I mean, it seems like it lost a lot of its original charm that made the show so unique. So, would you recommend it to viewers of the series? It depends. If you want to preserve your memory of the show from the first three seasons, maybe not. But if you're okay with a few changes, it's a nice ending. Thanks for the input. Well, we'll see you next year. <laughs> and now, for a special edition of this week's Top 5 with Ryan! Part 2 of Top 5, Top 10 edition, Top 5, Part 2 of uh, movies that have traumatized me. Um, <laughs> Number five, uh, The Land Before Time. <laughs> Number two, or four, uh, The Land Before Time, The Great Valley Adventure. <laughs> Number three, The Land Before Time Three, The Time of the Great Giving. <laughs> Number four, The Land Before Time, Journey Through the Mist, and last but not least, Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Well, looks like that's the end of our segment. Thanks for tuning in to this special edition of A News. I've been Chance Lang. And I've been Ben Hooper. Good night. Hello, I'm Sam. I was born on the 27th of November in 2001, year of our Lord. That is my legal ID. I'm gonna be getting sloshed tonight. Oh, Holy Lord. shit, dude. <laughs> no matter where we go, no matter what we do. <laughs> Another one! Another one! Good evening. I'm Sam. It's nice to talk to you tonight about Friday's Live, the history of Friday's Live. I'm really excited to talk about Friday's Live history. Well, drunk. But Jonah, you should sit over there so I can look at you. Friday's Live got its start in 1986. Basically, there's this guy named Lee, and he was taking this comedy class. Before you know it, Lee's behind a desk in front of a camera, and he's like delivering all this like comedy fucking gold. And he had this guy named Jimmy. Jimmy was like the right hand man of the show and he was like, yeah, hey, how's it going folks? I'm Jimmy. Then Lee was like, listen, unfortunately I have to graduate. And then Jimmy was like, it's okay, I'll do it. 
I'll take over. The only thing is, the show's called Athens Tonight, and that sucks. So we're gonna change it to Fridays Live with an apostrophe because the show belongs to Friday. And then everybody really loved it, and, but then it got canceled. Nobody knows why. Somebody was like, well, it's 1999. We better stop making this show. Fridays was no longer alive. It was dead. Fridays was dead. But 2003 came around and then there was this guy, this lady, her name was Stephanie. No, what's her name? Her name was Stephanie. She was like, oh, would you look at that? That is a VHS tape and it says Fridays Live. And I don't know what that means. So she picked it up, she took it back to her dorm room and she was like, I'm just gonna put this into my 2003 VACR because I'm old. Uh, I'm old. <laughs> Stephanie was like, oh my God, this is the thing I have to do. So then before you know it, um, Friday's Live. So at that time it was like sketch, it, they had like sketches, but they also had like segments and it was like talk show. And so Jason and Lauren were like, hello, this is Friday's Live and we're Jason and Lauren. La, 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 la. They were owned by WOUB, like they were like associated with them and- WOUB, -W what's that? WOUB stands for Worldwide Only Underpants Beef. <laughs> May I don't know. Stephanie was at Friday's for um, a certain amount of years, but eventually she left, you know, as all people do. And then some other person came in, right? Scott, Zach, Zach came in. And Zach was like, you know, this show is good, but it could be great. Listen, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. We're gonna do like sketches that we write and then we're gonna perform them. And guess what folks? People are gonna laugh. And Zach said with a mighty fist, bricks. Let there be bricks and they built them. And you know, that's where that got its start, culturally. So Zach was like, I'm done with this shit later, but also I love you guys and I'll never stop thinking about you. So yeah, they were still using tapes in the 2010s if you can believe it, that's like kind of crazy. And the tapes would fail all the time. That's what Jonah said. They'd be like, oh, well, the show's done. We've got this tape. Let's run over there with this tape. And then they'd be like, here you go. We're ready to put it on YouTube. And then the person would put it in and be like, yeah, this isn't good. Like you guys really like screwed up. Like this is so bad. And like the tape is so messed up that it's like a miracle that you are even like a sentient being and not some like blob because you are that dumb that this tape is that fucked up. And the person would be like, well, that's okay. 2018 came, we were kicked out of Studio C. That led to us being in Baker Theater. Yeah, yeah that's fake cheering because it was awful. And at that time, somebody named Jenna came along and she was like, you know what? I'm gonna write this sketch. And it's called Country Girls Make Do. And it was all about her being like, hi, I'm this old lady on a park bench. And back in my day, I used a rattlesnake to masturbate. And the internet said, yeah, we love that. And it was the best thing that Friday's Live ever made it. Then along comes Kay and she said, you know what, we're gonna do some negotiations. So she went to this office and she said, listen, Mr. Person. And Mr. Person was like, listen to you, you guys like really didn't do a good job in Studio C. And she said, yeah, well, we're gonna do better. And he said, hey, that's good enough for me. And they shook hands and he was like, here's a million dollars, just kidding. And she said, well, that was a little mean. I kind of wanted the million dollars. And so then she left and they were back in Studio C. And then right after everybody was like reacclimated to Studio C, you know, this guy named COVID-19 came along and he said, just kidding, fuck you. And then everybody had to leave. But then finally like they kicked him out and everything was like pretty chill again. So they spend their time writing sketches, but nothing really happens because there's COVID. But finally people start joining again. They do auditions, they get crew. The show starts to grow a little bit and they're like, oh, now we can like do live shows or we can do shows in Studio C again. So then people come in and 
They're like, hey, welcome to Studio C. This is Friday's Live, except we're not live because, like, we can't do that right now because we don't really know how. But then they figured it out. And that's when Friday's Live became live again. And they were do so then they were doing shows, you know, they had Allison on as producer. And she was like, this needs to go there, and that needs to do this. And you, you need to go do that. And then that person went and did that. And then before you know it, we've got like a million people on Friday's Live and everybody's just like dancing around like, yeah, yo. That's basically the entire history of Fridays. Um, I'm really drunk, and I'm Sam, and I'm gonna go to bed now, so... Good night, good night, good night. Good night! Nope, that's it. We're done. That's cool with me, like... Okay, then, uh, how should we do this? I have an idea. Okay, go for it. People of Rome! <laughs> I bring great news. We have conquered Gaul, and the spoils belong to us. <laughs> Sean, what are you doing? Who are these people? Sean? <laughs> Who is this Sean? I am the great Julius Caesar. <laughs> A self-made man who has once fought for glory. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Both myself, Rome, and our people. Yeah! Sean, I'm Julius. <laughs> what? Julius. Caesar. Okay, um, how is this role play? <laughs> My dear lady, the role I play is creating a society, nay, an empire! <laughs> Caesar! Yes. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> Funny you should say that. So many of my warriors tell me that before battle. <laughs> but you know what I see in response? What? A coward dies a thousand deaths. The gallant never tastes death but once. <laughs> okay, either you stop or I can just Brutus, or my emperor! Brutus, what is it? We, might, we bring unfortunate news! Yes? The goal is launch a counter-offensive. We must make haste! Legion! Phalanx formation! <laughs> what am I doing here? Milady. Shut up. What the hell happened? We are victorious once again. Hey, Sean. I'm really sorry that you're doing all of this, but it's just not doing anything. Emperor! Yes. We must talk. One moment, my lady. We must free ourselves from your grip! <laughs> Too, Brutus. This was the worst night ever. We're through. I saw, I conquered, but I never came. 
<laughs> What's a betrayal? I know what'll cheer you up. What? Warriors of Rome! Phalanx formations! Oh. Oh. You'd think Cassie would love a surprise visit from her dad. School only started a couple weeks ago. Where is she? Yeah, is there anything else we need? I can get uh, some cookies for uh, after the audition. I could go for a cookie. Oh my god. Um, we're just getting started, so you can come in if you'd like. Uh, yeah. You're here for the audition, right? Uh, yeah, I'm here to join your, your club, group, uh, yeah. Great. Well, Fridays is always looking for new members, so do you have any acting or tech experience? I don't mean to brag, but, uh... I was the lead role for our high school's production of Cats, so a little experience. Uh huh. Well, we'd love to see what you have. Oh, uh. Ma, Pa, I'm going out to the war. Figure the sea, figure the ma, figure the ha, figure the 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 figure the. Listen, buddy. We don't want to keep you here longer than we have to. So why don't you just tell us what we want, and you can be on your way. Uh, no, officer. I, I don't have any contraband. Oh, but I'm dreadfully sorry, Mr. Jacobs. But I can't make the rent this, this month. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe there's another arrangement we can make out. Huh? Are you giving me back sass, mister? I will ship you off to Florida as soon as I can. Don't you look at me like that! God! Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, definitely keep an eye out for callbacks. We will be getting back to you. Great, thank you. Yeah, of course. Oh, wait, what's your name? My friends call me Dad. Oh, my cookie! Sorry, I got to catch you. Uh, you did great in there. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually about to go grab a bite to eat. Oh, why didn't you grab a cookie in there? I don't know. Oh, well, some of us were about to go to Tony's uh, if you wanted to come. 
Yeah, I'd be down. All right. I think a hot nut would suit you well. It's not a sex thing, is it? The guy, if you think being a scarce isn't so easy, why don't you try it? Well, yeah, what'd he do? He backed off. Uh, oh, good for you, Mikey. You want something to drink, Sully? Nah, I'm all right. Hey, is, uh, is your wife home? Uh, she should be. Honey, are you home? Did you hear that? No, Mike's home. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, jeez, not again. <laughs> See you, guys. Someone up there with you? Celia, open up, open up, open up, Celia, come on. Jesus, you didn't have to yell at me like that. Are, are you cheating on me? What does it look like? But baby, how can you do this to me again? Mikey, you just don't please me anymore. <laughs> Sexually, I mean. So you go around and sleep with other moms? Yes! Should I leave? Oh, you're a real piece of work, you know that? Uh, doing this in my house, nonetheless. Your house? Yeah, my house. Oh, that's real rich coming from a good-for-nothing green goblin and tennis ball looking has-been like yourself. <laughs> Mikey, you wouldn't be of use to this, of any use to this world if there were two of you, and two of you would make a ball sack. Well, maybe if I, <laughs> well, maybe if I was a ball sack, you'd love me more. Are you calling me a whore? I never called you a whore, but gee, now that you mentioned it, I think you might be. <laughs> The way you're sleeping around, the way you do, ugh. Really, you're gonna lecture me on cheating? Don't think I forgot about you and Sully! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> honey, honey, please, we've been over this. I should probably go now. Sit down, Sully, you're not going anywhere. How big is it? <laughs> How big is what? I'm referring to the thing that's cowering in my bedroom. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. His penis, how big is his penis? <laughs> Why don't you find out for yourself, Wazowski? <laughs> Randall? What? Surprise? Hey, what is this lizard doing wearing my bathrobe? Well, I'm wearing your bathrobe because I was about halfway done plowing your wife when you walked in, you one-eyed freak. Oh, 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 you're gonna get it! Oh, you're gonna get it! Ugh. Ugh. Fellas, Ugh. fellas, fellas, break it up, break it up, break it up. Randall, shouldn't you be dead right now? You thought you killed me? Ha! All you did was trap me in the human world. But uh, as you can see, I found my way back and I took my revenge. By fucking my wife? Precisely! <laughs> and he's a much better lover than you, Mikey, despite his reptile dysfunction. But baby! Baby, this guy's a monster! I mean, he kidnapped the child! Yeah? Oh, and why did you take revenge on Sully, too? Because I thought it would be funny to sleep with one of your wives, and uh, Sully doesn't have a wife. That's a fair point. <laughs> oh, this is crazy! Mike, I think it would be best if you if you left. You're kicking me out? Yeah, I'm kicking you out. But schmoozy-poo! I've only been home for about three minutes. Don't schmoozy-poo me, Mike. It's over between us. We're done. Can I at least get my stuff first? No. <laughs> Fine. See you at work. See you later, Mikey. <laughs> so, are you going to join us or what? Sure, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Robbery. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone, against the wall. Put the money in the bag and no one gets hurt. Wait, where'd you get those guns? My purple crayon. I drew them. <laughs> this is bullshit. You want to try that? Bite me. Harold, did you forget to draw the bullets? Oh, Harold! One second. Any 
any time, please. Just give me a second. We gotta get to the safe. So, Harold, how do we crack this one? Leave it to me. Police, come out with your hands up! The police, they're here! You about done with that, Harold? I'm just finishing up some wires. Sometime today, please. I'm almost done. Done. Everyone, stand back! About when does it go off? Gonna start the car? I forgot the keys. This should do it. Harold! Freeze! We can't. Freeze. So, where did you get that cram? That's classified. Could you at least teach us how to use it? Maybe not that cram, but. I have another one I can show you. <laughs> this is Feed Me Your Lies. Got the devil's tongue, but it hides behind your lips. It tells me what I want, it says that you can have it. Tell me what I need to hear, that she wouldn't keep up the fiction. And here I'll continue.
don't you, why don't you care right over? Thank you, guys. Tune in next time on November 3rd. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah.